Hey Valley Middle, welcome back to another math video. Tonight we're going to be changing percentages into fractions. Let's start off with the trivia question first though. When did the first action toys appear? Alright, we'll get that answer and much more after our instruction. Tonight our official target is 4.6c. I can write percentages as fractions. Let's do this thing. Alright, we take a look at this question here. Which 67% of the Black Friday shoppers waiting in this line got the door buster special they wanted. Express this percentage as a fraction. Well, we know that percents are always the number per 100, so I can just take and put that number over 100 and say 67 out of 100 people. And then I reduce if necessary. In this case, I'm just good with 67 out of 100. Let's take a look at some must-know vocabulary words. This is all review, but here again, percents. This is the specified number out of 100. Okay, like we had 67 out of 100, 67 percent. And a fraction is a number or a quantity that's not completely whole, like one half and one third. So take a look at these percentages. Here's the one we had: 67 percent is as a fraction is 67 out of 100. 17 percent is sim simply 17 out of 100. And 80 percent, that's 80 out of 100. But don't forget, sometimes we have to reduce that fraction is not in simplest form. So we divide by 20, we'll get 4 fifths. Seems too simple, right? Just dividing by 100? Well, there are a couple little tricks you have to watch out for, and I think that those are best learned by working through some problems. So let's try this one right here. Express 25% as a fraction. Let's follow our steps. First, we'll divide by 100. We're moving the decimal to the left. Yesterday we moved it to the right to multiply by 100. Today we're moving it to the left two spaces to divide by 100. Now, if there's a whole number, if there's any digits left here, we would set it aside. But there's no digits left. We just have a decimal, 0.25. And so now, step two is just change that decimal into a fraction. And we've done this before. We put a bar underneath it. We put a zero under each digit and add a one to the whole thing. Now, we can go and reduce. We have 25 hundredths. And that's a familiar fraction. We can divide by 25 and get down to 1 fourth. Do we have any whole numbers to add back in? No, we didn't. And we'll talk about what situations you have those whole numbers in just a couple of slides. I'll give you one to try. All right? I think it's time that you try one. All right, express 40% as a fraction. I've left the steps uncovered for you over here. See if you can work through it, and then I'll give you the answer. Go ahead. All right, let's take a look and see how you did. All right, first, divide by 100. Again, that's moving that decimal point to uh, positions from here to here. So now we have 0.4 or 0.40. Now, set the whole number aside, and we don't have any of those whole numbers, just a decimal, 0.4, and, and we can turn that decimal into a fraction. You know how to do that. So put a line under the 40, put a zero under each one. Now we can reduce. If I divide each of those by 20, I'll get down to 2 fifths. I could have divided by 10 here, too, if I wanted to. But I just follow the steps, and it always works out. And then add any whole numbers in. And we, again, we didn't have any whole numbers, so our percentage of 40% just becomes 2 fifths as a fraction in simplest form. All right, let's try another one. And I've got to move my screen up, I can see, on this one. All right, express 37.5% as a fraction. Go ahead and follow the steps. OK, I'm back. First of all, we divide by 100. Again, we're going to move that decimal two spots to the left. One, two. So now we're going to have 0.375. We don't have any whole numbers there. It's still all decimal, so just forget about the whole number. And we turn that decimal into a fraction. So put a line underneath the whole nine yards. Put a zero under each digit. Add a one to the whole thing. We've got 375 over 1,000. We can simply reduce. I know that 125 goes into them. So if I divide them each by 125, I get to 3 eighths. Again, no whole number involved, so there we go. My percentage as a fraction is 3 eighths. All right, one more. Now, I'll give you a shot with a whole number. So you're going to have to set that whole number aside. Why don't you go ahead and give this one a shot? All right, let's see how you did. First of all, did you move the decimal two spots to the left? One, 
2. Now you'll notice that we have 1.25, right? Good, because this is more than 100%. So now we're setting that whole number off to the side. We're just going to work with the decimal. So now we have 0.25, and you know what to do there. Underline it, add a 0 for each digit, put a 1 in front of the whole 9 yards, and then we reduce. Here's my 1 still out here, but just focus on the fraction. If I divide by 25, I have 1 fourth. And now finally, at the bottom, I add that whole number back in. So I have 1 and 1 fourth. That wasn't so bad, was it? All right, we'll practice this tomorrow in class. Here's your ticket to the show. I'll let you write these problems down. Please express these percentages as fractions. All right, let's take a look at the uh, answer to the trivia question. When did the first action toys appear? Well, it wasn't the G.I. Joe. But approximately 4,000 years ago, kids in Asia were playing with action toys. And I'm not sure what they look like, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't G.I. Joe or Barbie. Maybe it would have looked something like this. Who knows? All right, thanks for watching. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow.